Hey guys, uh, it's me, Kramik. So I had uh, made the first uh, Barbarian video, and now we're going to get on to the second Barbarian video. Today we'll be covering Reckless Attack and Danger Sense. To automate both of these effects, we'll be using Dynamic Active Effects. So let's get started with Reckless Attack. First, let's grab a fresh copy of Reckless Attack from the Class Features SRD. And you can see it here, Reckless Attack. So regular attack states, whenever you may, when you activate this effect, you can decide whether to do so, and then it gives you advantage on melee attacks using strength. But in response, any attacks, any attack rolls made against you, will have advantage until your next turn. So let's go ahead and hit import, and it'll drop us into our item directory. Now we just need to find it, and there it is. I have one already set up from the previous. Well, let's go ahead and open up this one. So in here, let's click on uh, Day. And then we want to create a new effect. We can just call this one Reckless Attack. Let's go ahead and click on Duration. And in here, we want to select until start of next turn. Then let's go over to Effects. So in here, we're just going to go ahead and put in the mini-QL uh, flags for granting advantage when being attacked, as well as advantage when using strength attacks. So I've already grabbed them, but I'll go ahead and put them on the side of the screen so then you can see what they are. So this particular flag gives advantage to when you're uh, being attacked. And then we need to go ahead and give it an effect value of 1 to say that it's enabled. This one is going to give us all strength-based advantages when attacking with, uh, as I said, strength-based attacks. And after you've entered in both of these, just go ahead and submit the changes. And then we can close out of this box. And from here, under details, you gotta make sure that it's set to, to self and self. And we don't really need the duration, but uh, it will place an icon on our character, so we can just leave it alone. As a rule of thumb, I tend to wipe out these zero out of zeros. But you can leave them if you want. Other than that, this, pretty, this effect's pretty much set up. And from here, you can go ahead and go to your uh, your character, and then uh, drop it in. And then now, when they activate it, you'll see that it places a new icon on the character. And then if you check in day, you'll see Reckless Attack here. And everything survived. If you put in an effect that is illegal, it will actually default this to something else and it won't show the effect. So, so this is kind of a good way how to troubleshoot if you know you typo or your effects are just incorrect. Let's go ahead and show up. Oh, and he gets a nat 20 on his roll. As you can see here, it's set for advantage. Now, if we make him the target, and our little uh, half dead uh, goblin decides to retaliate, not good enough to hit him, but yeah, as you can see here, it is set to advantage. Now, let's move on to Danger Sense. Now, as you can see, I already have the class features open, and you can see Danger Sense there. So, let's go ahead and import it. Then let's go ahead and open it up. And this time, uh, we're going to go back into Day. And uh, we're going to hit New. And in here, you can put in Danger Sense. And 
And then this one, we actually want it to transfer the effect of the equipped. So let's go into uh, effects. Let's hit this. And then we're going to grab another special flag key. This one's going to make any time we do an ability save that's dex based, we'll have advantage on it. Let's go ahead and assign the effect to value one. And that's pretty much to it. So let's go ahead and grab our, our friendly barb here. Go into features. I do have a previously built one in here for danger sense already. So you can see here, it's built exactly the same way. So now if we go into dex, You can see here that he's rolled automatically with advantage. Now I do have a macro on my GitLab page for it as well, if you want a direct roll. And it pretty much works the same method. It puts everything within card. This version of it, however, uses MidiQL to directly bind it into the card. If you want a cleaner version of that, you can always check it at the video description. I've got a link to my GitLab. Thanks for watching my video. Also make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification so you know when I post the next one. If there's any particular topic, such as a class feature, item, or spell, leave a comment below. In the video description, I will also list the flags I used. And then also a link for my GitLab and Patreon page. My Patreon page contains my newest macros. Make sure to check it out. Again, thanks for watching the video.